guys know when you see those videos or those articles and a person shares that one piece of advice that changed their life forever? And it's not usually some logical piece of silly advice like set goals or work hard. It's like real emotional advice that hits you in the chest. And when that person heard that piece of advice, they could never live their life the same way again. Well, in this video, I want to share one of those pieces of advice that forever changed my life and how you can use it to drive you and motivate you in your own life going forward. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now look, if you are in a phase of your life where you're trying to reinvent yourself, you wanna have a better life, you're sick and tired of living the mediocre average life, check out the free goal setting worksheet down there below. It'll help you plan out your best year ever, and you're also gonna get an email every three days showing you some goal setting strategies I used to have and build my best life. You can check it out the first link in the description. All right, guys, so what is that piece of advice that I got? You know, it actually wasn't a piece of advice, but instead it was an internal realization, and here's what it was. No one is coming to save you. No one. No one's going to come save you. No one's going to save you from the life you hate. No one's going to save you and fix all the trauma you've been through. No one's going to save you and just hand a successful business in your lap. Like No one's just going to put it there for you. No one's going to put the 20 pounds you want to lose there. No one's going to give you the $100,000. No one's going to give you that dream job. And that should be a good thing. Because you are your own savior. You are the chosen one. You are the one that's been given the gift to change your life. You know, when I was that kid in high school and middle school, getting bullied all the time for being the shortest kid and the skinniest kid and the youngest looking kid, the kid that didn't go through puberty yet, that had the high voice, no one came to save me. No God came to save me. No principal came to save me. No teacher came to save me. I had to save myself. And you may be going through similarly difficult things in school or in dating or maybe you're someone from a bad background. you raised in a bad spot of the country. No one's coming to save you. That's good though. That's a good thing. It shouldn't be, oh, woe is me. I'm screwed. Life is tough. No one is coming to save you because you got to save yourself. You know, I could have said the same thing. I'm sitting in this job I hated. I spent all these years in my 20s wanting to find work I love, wanting to find something I'm passionate about, wanting to find something where I felt like my life was worth living. But no one came to save me. No one gave me all this money I could just chill and build my business in my free hours. No one gave me all the resources, the introductions, the knowledge, the know-how, All these things, I had to go get that. I had to figure it out. And just like me, teenage Alex, wanting a girlfriend but being a nerd, being like the the real life McLovin, no one came to save me. There was no hitch that showed up and he's like, hey Alex, this is how you dance, this is how you lift weights, this is how you get more confidence, more self-esteem. Guys, no one came for me. I had to do it myself. I had to figure it out. But the whole point is that When you save yourself, you become the kind of person you've always wanted to be. And that is the kind of person who can have those dreams and those goals and actually reach them. So where does this leave you? You may be in a crappy life situation and you're thinking, wow, such an inspiring message, Alex. No one's going to save me. I feel so happy. No, because the question number one is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Right? I wanted to build a business so I could stop hating 10 hours a day of my life. I was doing that for years. Like, why would I spend so many hours working for someone else for a job I didn't like? What are you going to do about it? So what? So every night I went home and I spent three hours in my business, seven days a week. That meant it took me three years of doing that before I could quit my job making enough money. And I wasn't like making bank. I was making like two and a half thousand dollars a month to just eat and just live. Pay my rent and live. That's it. What are you going to do about it? The stuff you've been through, the trauma, the upbringing, the emotional damage. Maybe you're messed up and you know it. That's honest. What are you going to do about it? The second question is, how are you going to inconvenience yourself for a better life? 
The fact is, to live a better life, you really do have to inconvenience yourself. Like, was it friggin' convenient that I worked 40 hours a week and then spent three hours a day building my business? Hell no. Was it convenient that I was dating a girl for five years while I was building my business and for three years we only saw each other on the weekend, not during the week at all? Hell no, that wasn't convenient. Was it convenient that for three and a half years I didn't see my friends at all during the week? Hell no, that wasn't convenient. Was it convenient that, you see where I'm going? Honestly, most of the things you need to do to build a better life and to get to where you want, where you really want to be, they're not going to be convenient. Because getting up early, going to bed late, working extra hours, working on weekends, sacrificing fun things you want to do, none of that is convenient. But so many of us have to do that to build a better life at some point. And the third thing is, are you willing and able, do you want to do what most people are not willing to do to live a better life? You know, there's a saying in entrepreneurship, and the saying goes, entrepreneurs are people who spend a few years living like most people will not, so that they can spend the rest of their lives living like most people cannot. Are you willing to do those things? You look at the way Olympians live, they train six hours a day, six days a week, to become the world's best. Are you willing to pay the price for a better life? The better life doesn't have to be material, but it can be emotional. Are you willing to pay the price to dig up your traumas and deal with them? To go to the therapist? To maybe admit to being embarrassed about some things you did in your past to somebody else? Are you willing to do that work? Are you willing to get up an hour earlier to build a better life? To work on your self-growth? Are you willing to dare yourself to ask that person out every single week to build more courage? To build that muscle? Are you willing to go home and put in a few hours a day So you can have a better future three years, five years, ten years from now. Are you willing to go to graduate school for another four years or seven years or ten years so that your kids won't have to suffer the way you did? Are you willing to do that so that one day your life can get better? And so when I say the truth that inconveniences you, the truth, the lesson I realized that no one was coming to save me and no one is coming to save you, that is a blessing That is a good thing because when you realize those traits, those emotions, that fire, that hunger, all that stuff that's going to help you become who you want to be to get to where you want to be, that cannot happen if someone is coming to save you. So when you save yourself, you will find the inner resources and fortitude that you need to reach that goal and to reach that dream. And so it is an advantage that you are your own savior that you are the chosen one. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that fiery rant for today. we feeling a little spicy today. I don't know what's going on. But in any case, if you are feeling that hunger, that you're sick and tired of the way life's been, download the free goal-setting worksheet, get that weekly email series on how to improve your life, and reply to those emails. Reply back to them and tell me what's going on, how I can help you reach that dream. Because that worksheet is the... That was the starting point, the foundation for me reinventing myself. So check it out and come check out this related video right here, right after.